Hey, this is Kevin for Sonovert.com with another video tutorial. In this one, we are looking at how to install VST plugins in Audacity. Open up Audacity and go to the effect menu. Choose add remove plugins, which brings up the plugin manager. Sort by path scroll down and you should find a whole bunch of plugins already installed. These will be in some kind of Audacity plugins directory and this is where you need to drag your VST plugin. Usually it's going to be some kind of .dll file. That is how VSTs work. They are .dll files, dynamic link libraries. These files tell Audacity how to make the thing work. Now, once it's inside the Audacity plugins directory, restart Audacity and you should be able to come filter by new, click on it and then choose enable. That should activate it. Sometimes Audacity will look in this folder here, Steinberg VST plugins. And sometimes when you use an installer to install the plugin rather than just download the plugin, the installer will place the .dll file in this folder. Audacity should find it. And once again, if you sort by new, you should be able to find the installed VST plugin. Again, just hit enable, and then you should be able to find the plugin in one of two places. Either the analyze menu, which is unlikely or more likely under the effects menu. The effects menu is very long, so you may need to scroll down. Occasionally, you want to go to the effects menu and once again, go to the plugin manager and disable some of the plugins that you're not using. So choose enabled and disable things that you're not using so that you clean up the menu. And that's basically how you work with VST plugins in Audacity in Windows. Windows Audacity likes the 32-bit versions of the plugins. That's another thing to really try to remember. The 32-bit versions. I'll have a link again to a longer video discussing some of the problems that you might have. And if you do have problems, do click on that link. It will show you how to fix your stuff. That's it for this video. I hope you found it useful. If you did, hit the like button, subscribe, all that good stuff. See you next time. Bye.